Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be telling you guys Baxter's adoption story and he's wearing a cute little collared shirt for the occasion. <laughs> so when I found out that I was going to be moving to Guam, I knew that I wanted to get a dog. Once I got there, I found out that there was one shelter and that's where the majority of the people adopted their pets from. There are a couple pet stores that you can get dogs from or animals from, but like I said, the majority of the people get their pets from the shelter. Since Guam has a high rate of stray animals, there was a lot to choose from at the shelter. So on a day that I was free, I went up to the shelter and checked out the animals. So there were two dogs that kind of caught my eye, which was Baxter and this black and white dog that was probably about the size that Baxter is now. And then Baxter, of course, was like three pounds. And he had some sisters, but he was the only boy left out of his litter. And so he was a choice because one, he was a boy and I wanted a boy dog. And he was adorable. But one, one of the main reasons that the other black and white dog was kind of off the table was since he was so big and the shelter didn't exactly know what kind of dog he was or if he would get any bigger than he was already. So it kind of turned me off that, that I didn't know exactly how big he would get because I knew, because I had previously talked to my landlord, that he didn't want a big dog. I think the limit was 15 pounds. So I didn't want to risk it and then have problems later on. So in order to, for us to get Baxter, I had to put in an application, answer a few questions, and then of course get approval from my landlord. And so I put in an application to get approved, and then the questionnaire was basically a couple questions like, so if you move away from Guam, are you going to take him with you? Um, how long is he normally going to be alone during the day? You know, that sort of thing. And since I was going to be able to be at home with them all the time. That was definitely no issue. And of course, I said that if I left Guam, which I knew I would, that I would of course take them with me. That was no issue at all. So the last thing I had to wait for was approval from my landlord. And I had to wait for the shelter to talk directly to the landlord so that they knew that I wasn't lying or anything like that. So while I was waiting for them to get approval from him, I took it upon myself the next week to go and visit Baxter just so that if I was able to get Baxter which I was pretty sure I was going to I wanted him to know who I was so that when I took him home he wasn't nervous or scared or who is this woman type of thing so I went and visited him and the shelter actually encouraged that so that was a good thing and so when I went up there I told them which you know dog we wanted and they took us into the building and they had like a couch that you could sit on and like play with your future pet. And so that's what I, what I did. I was petting him, he was so cute. I think I have a picture. Like the first picture that we ever got, he was in my lap and it's so cute, his little ears are down. But anyways, so I was playing with him <laughs> and then towards the end of our visit, he peed on me. <laughs> he peed on my shirt, like right here on the side. Or, Either side, whatever, it doesn't matter. But he peed on me and I kind of freaked out a little bit, but I wasn't mad or anything, it was funny. But I was like, oh my God, he peed on me, but he was a puppy, so it was all good. So we left and then the next time we came back, which was, I believe the following week, because the hours were really weird and they closed kind of early, so we kind of had to go on the weekends. So the next Saturday rolled around, went up there and someone came with me and you know, we played with Baxter and got to know him a little bit better. And then, right when we were about to leave, he peed on her. <laughs> so that is when I knew that not only had I chose him, but he chose me. Because <laughs> he peed twice when we came to visit. So I believe it was the following week when they said that we were able to take him home. But there was still one more issue to resolve. He had to get neutered before we could take him home. That's kind of a rule there in Guam. If you want to get a pet from the shelter, you have to get it neutered. Because they have such a high stray rate, they require that you get all animals spayed or neutered. So he was only two months old, eight weeks old. And I know now that that's like way too young to get a dog neutered, but I didn't know it then. And at the same time, that was the only way that we could have gotten Baxter. So we had to do it. And when the shelter told us this, they said, well, here's a list of vets that don't 
you know, neuter puppies. But here's the list of vets you need which do neuter puppies, which, like, thinking back now, seems kind of sketchy. <laughs> like, th these vets will do it, but these ones won't. So I figured those would probably be the better vets, but it didn't really cross my mind. All I was worried about was getting Baxter. So he got neutered, he came home, and I was happy. <laughs> So since Baxter was like my first, well, since he was going to be my first real fully inside, complete responsibility is mine pet, I wanted to take really good care of him. So I needed to get him a bed, some, you know, water and food dishes, collars and leashes, of course some clothes. And a side note, I know some people hate when people put clothes on their dogs, but let me tell you something. One, I think it's cute. <laughs> Two, Baxter actually likes his clothes because he gets like really cold sometimes and he was laying on this blanket and as soon as I turned the camera on he, he came in my lap but he loves to cuddle so and he loves wearing clothes because he gets cold all the time even if it's like really hot outside or really hot inside he's always under the cover so he likes clothes anyways back to what I was saying so I needed to get all the supplies, so I went to Kmart and was looking for a collar and a leash because I, if he got lost or ran out, he does have a microchip by the way, but still of course he, I wasn't able to take him out of my apartment building without a, a leash on. So that was one of the first priorities was getting a leash and collar. So I went to Kmart, got a little black leash and then um, there was a little bit of issue with the collar. They didn't have any collars that would fit Baxter since he was so small. They did have cat collars, so I was like, well, you know, let me just get a cat collar since cat collars usually run smaller than dog collars. Well, they must have, they must have had an influx of people getting cats <laughs> at the same time that I was getting Baxter because there was only like two collars left. One that was too big and then one that would fit, but the only thing is, it was pink and Baxter's a boy. <laughs> But we got it anyways because it's just a collar and we were going to upgrade as soon as he got a little bit bigger. So we got his little pink collar and his little black leash. It was pink and, pink and black collar so the black leash fit perfectly. But he was so tiny and so cute when we brought him home. He was so scared to go up and down the stairs since we lived on the second floor. But of course he got over that and he couldn't even get up on the couch. <laughs> he would just sit there and whine to come like sit in my lap but it was so cute. Okay, so after getting the collar and leash. I found out shortly that Baxter did not like walking on the leash. So, since I had to have him on a leash when I went outside and stuff, I was like, what am I gonna do? You know, he will not walk on the leash. He just sits there and whines and like lays down and I have to like basically drag him. So I ended up getting some treats while I was at the pet store, which was no problem. So I had some treats and I put the leash on him and he would just sit there. And so I'd have a treat in my hand and I'd walk kind of like the length of the leash away and I'd be holding the leash and I'd be like all right Baxter come here come here <laughs> he's like what what <laughs> I'm talking about you <laughs> then when I had the treats in my hand he would walk a little bit and I'd be like yay you know good job and then he'd sit down and then I'd walk a little bit farther and then um, I'd have the treats again and he'd come so that's how we learned how to walk on a leash just with treats <laughs> and walking a little bit and giving him a treat so that's a tip if anyone's trying to figure out how to train their dog I don't know if it'll work with cats, because, but I mean, maybe. Um, if anyone's trying to teach their dog to walk on a leash, just get some, invest in some treats, <laughs> and it'll probably work. So now I had the leash and collar, I had the food and water bowl, I needed food. So I researched a little bit on different foods because I wanted to get him the best kind, and believe it or not, even though I know so many people buy Purina, it's actually not that good for your animals. It's like, a two on the rating scale. I believe it's like a two, one or two. So since Guam didn't have a huge variety of dog food, I looked to see what kind of food they had and then I researched and saw what the benefits of the food were. So I ended up going with Nutro Ultra for puppies and then now since he's older I get Nutro, Ul Nutro Ulta for small breed dogs since he's a small breed. And he loves it, and I continue to buy it, and I would highly recommend it. It's really good. It's like for, they have small breed, large breed, senior, weight management. They have all kinds of different varieties for 
to fit your dog's needs. So I would highly recommend it. So I had the food, I had the food and water bowl, the collars, the leash. I had a kennel, which was too small. I just underestimated his size and I got like one that was way too small, but of course we upgraded. So it was no problem, but it was, it was kind of bad at first. Cause I was like, what's wrong? Why don't you want to go in there? And it was cause it was way too small. But he was a new puppy, he was young, and he did not like sleeping in the bathroom or in his kennel or anywhere but with me in my bed. He would cry all night. We had to end up putting him in the living room while we slept in the bedroom, and we could still hear him. He was so loud, it was insane. So of course he got his way and he ended up sleeping in the same bed with me. So Baxter was super playful as a puppy and he did learn how to fetch, but the thing is, once he got tired of playing, which was probably only after about two or three you know, fetches, he would take his toy and <laughs> act like he was walking to you and then divert his route and go somewhere else and just chew on his toy. Also, speaking of toys, Baxter is the worst. He cannot have basically any chew toys or stuffed animals. He has to have like the really strong Kong toys because he will chew them up in less than an hour. All toys. And that's how he's always been. And I kept getting him new toys without realizing, hey, maybe he needs a stronger toy. So now I get him Kongs and they work, they work actually pretty well. He did end up tearing up his last Kong, but it lasted probably a year. So he has a new Kong now, which is like a ball but he hasn't torn that one up yet. But I'm sure that one's gonna last probably another year as well. So, he's a chewer. But luckily it's not on anything like shoes or pillows or anything like that. He knows that he can only chew on his toy, which is a good thing. Isn't that right, Bax? Yeah. Isn't that right? <laughs> he's like super sleepy, huh? He's super sleepy. Anyways, so, like I said, I wanted to take really good care of him because he was my first real responsibility. And so for his first Christmas, his first Easter, and his first birthday, oh, and his first Halloween. I kind of went all out. <laughs> for his first Halloween, I made him, and at the time I had just gotten Shadow as well, so I made them both Halloween costumes. Baxter, I made him a Batman cape, and then Shadow, I made him a little Robin cape, and I have pictures of that. But it was super cute and actually it was kind of fun like sewing everything and putting everything together it was a little difficult to figure out how to keep it attached but i ended up working it out and it was super cute so his first christmas and his first easter for that i had them go to the pet store because the pet store in guam for both christmas and easter they had santa claus and then the easter bunny and you could take your pets in and get pictures with santa and the easter bunny so that's what i did and I made them like a little custom shirt for the Santa Claus and the Easter. Actually, maybe just for Easter. I don't think I had them wear anything for Christmas. Maybe a sweater. I have to look at the pictures. But anyways, I did that and then for Baxter's first birthday, I made him a little shirt and I baked him a cupcake and put like a little one candle in it, got him some treats, made him a little party hat and he devoured that cupcake. He was so happy and he loved it so I didn't do it for his second birthday but maybe for his third birthday we'll see I'll keep you guys updated but another thing about Baxter is that he loves the beach absolutely loves it. he has such a blast at the beach he loves he loves swimming and then running out of the water and then digging in the sand and then running back in the water and then jumping in the water off of rocks. Cause in Guam, we lived right by the beach and it was pretty shallow. So um, some of the rocks you could see, you could stand on the rocks and that's what he would do. He would stand up there and just like look so majestic and then jump off into the water. And then I think there's a couple of them where I was swimming, like snorkeling, and then he was on my back and just like sitting there floating. but. He loves the beach and that's kind of a bummer here in New Mexico because there's not a beach here. <laughs> but he loves the beach but he hates getting baths. Yeah, I think that's so weird but whatever, right? Whatever. Another thing about Baxter is that he hates rain and thunder. He 
he hates it. He does. He will not go outside to go to the bathroom if it's raining. He will barely go outside if it's like sprinkling. I have to like force him to go out and pee. He hates it. And then one time I know that he had to pee so bad and he wouldn't go outside. So I had an umbrella and I was just like carrying it around <laughs> like, go pee, you're not getting wet. But yeah, he'll, he'll get scared. He'll start whining and he'll, he'll just want you to like cuddle him and like pet him whenever it's thundering. It's kind of cute, but isn't that? Yeah. <laughs> so that's really Baxter's story. That's how he got adopted, how we picked him. Oh, I think I forgot to mention. Originally, I wanted to name Baxter Coda. Like before I even went to the shelter, I had in mind, I'm gonna name whatever the dog I get, I'm gonna name him Coda. So I'm gonna name him Coda, like, kind of like Dakota, but without the duh part. <laughs> but once we picked Baxter and kind of thought about the name Baxter, we realized that it kind of fit him and we liked it a lot better than Coda for him. So that's why his name stayed Baxter and didn't change to Coda <laughs> like I originally wanted. But that's really it for Baxter's adoption story. I hope you guys enjoyed and share this video with anyone that you might think will be interested in this. We adopted Baxter. We didn't shop. We did shop with my other dog, Shadow, but that's a story for another time. Oh, speaking of Shadow. Real quick before I go, when I got Shadow, Baxter was not happy at all. He just wanted to like eat him. He just wanted to like play really rough with him. He didn't realize that Shadow was just a puppy. It was a nightmare. It was not a good time. He was so, he wasn't mean to Shadow, but he just, he, he didn't want Shadow to get any attention from me. But that's another, that's another story. But. Like I said, that's it for Baxter's story. Hope you guys enjoyed. I post videos every Mondays and Fridays, so be sure to come back and check out my next video. Uh, thanks for watching. Like my shit, comment, subscribe. Thanks. <laughs>